Good afternoon, beer buffs. Happy Advent. And today I'm drinking a wheat beer, and it's a wit beer, and it's from Whole Garden. So let us get a pour on. folks I am ready for a beer because Advent brings with it poinsettias and I hate poinsettias Yes, you can see how much I hate poinsettias. You know, it's a good Christmas plant, I guess, but they drive me nuts. They're fragile. They, they're either too wet, too, too, too dry. They're just horrible, gaudy plants. I'm sorry, I had to get that out. If you love poinsettias, fair play on you, but I don't. It had to go. It had to go. So anyway, I'm excited for a beer. Anyway, I, I love Christmas, don't get me wrong. I love the festive season, um, but I don't like those plants. So uh, anyway, let's get pour on. So Whole Garden is a brewery out of Belgium. So I'm excited. I've never had this beer before and it's, it is quite readily available. Um, so it's 4.9% and it's a wit beer. It looks like it's infused with coriander and orange peel and it's naturally cl cloudy. So I got my little wheat, I don't know if you can see that, wheat beer, wheat ale, wheat uh, glass, so I thought that's rather appropriate. Kind of more of a summery beer really, not a winter one. But it is a little warmer today, even though I'm wearing this woolly hat. It is, you know, so Advent beers. Like I say, I am doing the, the 12 Stouts of Christmas coming up at the end of the month for Christmas Tide, so look out for that. I only have three beers ready so far, stouts, but uh, I'll have more, don't worry. There's time, as they say, there's time. There is time. Anyway. Mmm. Definitely hints of citrus in the scent. It's just very European in its smell, I'd say. Mmm. Definitely has a spiciness to it. Mm, that's good. What did I say? It's um, 4.9%. Um, I guess that's hints of, but yeah, I, I think it's kind of like the coriander's filtering through a little bit on the taste. Subtly. Subtly, I should say. Mm, but that's good. It's very refreshing. I must say, it's very refreshing. Yeah. Anyway, hope you're all well, enjoying Advent. I have a little Advent calendar I do like to partake in. Um, yes, quite enjoyable. Uh, but, you know, it's that season where all the Christmas stuff is coming up. We've got our Christmas beer bros to look forward to soon. That's on the calendar. Uh, then, obviously, Christmas Day. What else have we got going on? I think we're going to see the Christmas lights up in the hill country. That's always game for a laugh. I'll see if we stop in a brewery and get some photos. Um, yeah, and then New Year's, of course, and lots of shenanigans. I am going out to uh, Five Stones next week for a pre-Christmas stout with my buddy, so that would be fun. Five Stones is just 15 minutes down the road. It's kind of the closest brewery to me, to be honest. Uh, I've done a couple of reviews on them, but it'll be fun. Maybe I'll squeeze one in when I'm up there. We'll see. If time allows, as they say, if time allows. But yeah, this is good. Fair play. Mm. What's this brewery about then? Um, yeah, Whole Garden, It's the brewery is called... I'm probably saying this terribly wrong. Do you excuse me? Bro... Browerge... Wurge... Browerge Whole Garden. There you go. Kind of. It's, a, it's actually a subsidiary of Anhausen Busch, so it's part of that bigger chain of uh, beer, if you will. 
uh, but they are based in Hull Garden, the village of Hull Garden. I don't know if it's a village anymore, but it was Vlandersen in Belgium. So over in my neck of the woods, so to speak. Um, but yeah, so the history of it, really, the Hull Garden monks were the first to discover the unique recipe for the wheat beer, wheat beer, around 1445. So there's an old recipe for you, eh? Chalk it up there. Chalk it up. <laughs> um, but Hull Garden became, the village of Hull Garden became one big brewery in 1709, when the village had no less than 12 breweries back then. By 1726, it had 36 breweries, um, but they all pretty much vanished in back up into the later part of the uh, 20th century, unfortunately, what I was reading. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, and uh, actually at that time, I didn't realize Hull Garden was actually part of, uh, back going back then, was part of uh, the Netherlands. It was, Belgium wasn't, Belgium, it was incorporated as the Netherlands. So I, you know, that's interesting. I never knew that. But yeah, there you go. Lots of Gamf and history on the website. Have a look. You do have to put in your date of birth and such. Uh, but yeah, scrolling further down as I go along in years. But yeah, that have a look, you know, and it's, it's, it's quite interesting, the history of it all. As for this beer, that's an easy drink, I have to say. You know, I've actually been drinking a lot of uh, uh, Founders All Day IPA this week, uh, this weekend, just gone. I You can get a 15 pack for, you know, 16, 17 bucks. It's a good deal and it's, a, you know, but sometimes drinking IPAs constantly does get a bit much. It's an easy drink. It's an easy IPA, I should say, but it's not as easy as this. Imagine a 15 pack of these. I'd enjoy that. I have to say, I would enjoy that. Uh, but yeah, good beer. They do a few other beers. Actually, quite a range. Mostly on the kind of mostly the the wheat beers and the fruit beers and such like that, you know. And shandies. They do a lot of shandies as well. If you're a shandy, um, Hull Garden Grand Cru, which is a Belgian strong ale. That's one of their signature ones. Uh, they do the whole garden Radler, Lemon and Lime, and that's a shandy. So if you're a bit feeling a bit of a lightweight, go for that one. Uh, whole garden Cherry, which is a fruit beer. I did find one IPA, and it's called the whole garden Paradise. So look out for those if you can. I don't think the IPA is readily available because I only saw two reviews on it or two check-ins. So maybe discontinued, I don't know, but something to look at. Anyway, this, it is very enjoyable. As I say, very easy to drink. It's gonna be a standard, a standard eight for me, the Texas Taft, so there you go, chalk that up. Uh, that's gone, pretty much, so hey, Anyway, hope you're enjoying Advent and getting to support your local breweries, especially in the run-up to the festive season, you know, thinking about giving some beers for Christmas as treats, as Christmas presents. You know, get some from your local breweries. Try and support local breweries, you know? Or anyway, any craft bre breweries as much as you can all, all helps, you know, especially a, a run-up to Christmas. So do that. Get a nice couple of Christmas stouts for your neighbour or something like that. Uh, that's what I try to do. No, I see my neighbours, but you know, my friends. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so do that. Um, like I said, I'll be back next week with another beer for Advent. But yeah, look out for my stout specials coming up. And until then, keep crafty. Cheers.